हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कोड विद अबी इन सो मेनी कमेंट्स आई हैव रिसीव्ड कमेंट्स फॉर लाइक क्रिएट अ वीडियो ऑन विश लिस्ट और फेवरेट आइटम्स सो हियर वी आर टुडे ऑन क्रिएटिंग अ विश लिस्ट और फेवरेट आइटम पेज एंड एडिंग एन आइटम टू द विश लिस्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will need to install this api plugin by yht and also um, just a moment i will show it to you guys this plugin we need to install okay and i have also searched for some code and developed one code in php basically a plugin which will support like add to wish list with the api so let me show you how the apis are configured here i have created a group of wish list api which will have the same url as our other urls authorization same bear token and in this wish list we will the end point it will return the wish list along with the items okay currently we don't have the items and this one add product to wish list will have the wish list id product id and the token by default if you don't have any uh, wish list you just need to pass zero or the wish list and it will add the items to the wish list okay it will basically return this kind of response so it means like the item is added to the wish list now let us check the wish list see here 1680 and that item is added to the cart so i am returning the id name price and image url so adding the wish list to the uh, what you call this page uh, in the bottom navigation bar i am going to make a duplicate of checkout page because i will need this design this design is good okay so duplicate the page rename the page to wish list okay deleting this Price. We need to remove everything from the stack. Replace the wrap in the column and okay. And this. basically what we will do is we will load the api in list view we will make a call to the api call wish list token authentication token okay confirm and in wish list i will make it like show it in the bottom navigation bar along with the heart symbol okay and in nav bar i will move the wish list to the second position and here the items will be from the wish list response items save
I'm just setting up the default values as of now. Delete item from cart instead of that we will go with the uh, remove item from cart or add item to the cart let's let us see that in a moment let me reload this back again okay so I think there is one item in the wish list json for dollar let's print all the data for the items we have Sometimes we need to load it two three times for it to get refreshed the code. Okay, so we have the ID, the name. Okay. So here it would be dollar dot name. And here it would be dollar dot image URL. And here it would be let let me show you how i am returning so it would be price not price and image okay an id here confirm dialog then in this i will call the api Wish list remove product from wish list product ID dollar dot ID token authenticated user token wish list ID would be wishlist response predefined path and wishlist id okay let's try to remove the item from the wishlist now okay so item has been removed from the let me just change the message here as well remove from this list okay now how to add the item to the uh, wish list so here we will go in the product details I have created one row with the text and an icon and on row click I have put the action like call the API wishlist add the product to wishlist here I am passing the product ID token and wishlist by default 0 so by default 0 it will create the wishlist and in this it will show the message item added to the wishlist and if it's error it will show the error let us just check the item added to the wish list now let's see the if I click again the product is already added to the wish list so let me just check with the wish list again okay also same with the variable uh, variable same thing in here on click instead of product id i will be passing the attribute 
drop down option so like 50 is selected I get this ID and add to wish list you will see item is added to the wish list this one okay now let's go to add to cart logic let me just go in product detail add to cart copy chain action okay in wish list here i am going to wrap this with the column and duplicate this and in this one open actions okay above icon would be delete extension paste action product detail add to cart open copy extension wish list here id will be product id wish list item quantity we are going to supply by default as one token our authentication token item added to the cart and once the item is added to the cart we will need to remove the item from the this one so I will copy this section and put it in like add to cart and then remove the item from the wish list then show the snack bar and update the stay just rebuild the page update the app state rebuild the current page this icon we will change it to the cart icon hmm, its color would be let's see if everything is working correctly or not This one is added to the wish list so we have okay icons are not yet updated so let me reload it once more okay when I will click this one it will be removed from let me just show you first the card it's blank right so when I click here it will be item added to cart and removed from here and in cart we will see it's there again click again click So uh, here it's showing blank now what I will need is I want to show it like uh, when the list view is blank I want to show something no data found so I have created one component no data found view in UI builder okay so let's reload it now 
and let us check our data and now when I am adding item to the wish list item removed from the wish list and it's not added here okay. let me show it for another product cut it's not there now I am going to remove okay so it's removed from the wish list and not added to the card so that's all for API let's see it once again wish list main group then wish list endpoint will return the APIs uh, sorry the data for the entire thing add it will be wish list product id and add remove remove will be the wish list id the product id and the token and delete delete is currently not working fine so i am not using the delete entire wish list but i had kept it configured so maybe in later use cases we might use so that's all for today's video thank you please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you once again